what's up guys it's Patriots man here and I'm back with another video in this video guys we are going to talk about the new practice squad feature that came into the game yesterday alongside the combine promo so basically the practice squad feature is a way that we're going to be able to boost some players that are already on our team if you think back to previous years in Madden um, even last year in Madden level 21 they basically had some boost items you can equip in your lineup and it would basically boost the overall or the stats of your players which in turn made them play better on the field when they played. There's going to be a similar thing going on this year, just in a little bit of a different format. So today we're going to talk about the basics of the practice squad, go over it all. We may go into some deep specifics in the next video talking about like strategies when boosting your players, but today we're just going to go over it for anybody who may be confused, for anybody who's questioning anything with, within the practice squad, we're going to go over it. So it says, got star players that you aren't using on your lineup anymore slot them into currency scrimmages or mentorship so we're going to go to practice squad and when it comes to this there are of course two of these sections you have scrimmages you have mentorships and the mentorships are going to be your boost the scrimmages will be where you can send players out to get yourself some extra currency so as you guys see i basically already sent out some players for the training point scrimmage which comes back in roughly two hours so basically how this works we're going to go into one right here so when it comes to these, you see you can basically turn in players to get yourself progress towards these. So if I put in three of these uncommons right here, it's going to tell me, I believe, it should tell me, all right. So for in 24 hours, when I put in these three players, if I, unless I can put in more, yes, I can put in more. So it's going to give me 40 to 52 of those trophies in 24 hours, which obviously is not a lot at all. But in the end, this most likely does not hurt because you are not going to be using your bench players. So what you want to do first is once you go put all your good players and mentorships and you're done with mentorships, you can use all your extra leftovers for the, for the scrimmages here and basically get some free currencies. It's not going to be a lot if you put in low overall players, but your high overall players should be allocated to your boost, which we're going to go over in a second. So obviously sending out these players is going to give you the ability to get some trophies in return. And of course, you can get trophies in other places of the game, other places in the game too. But these are extra ways to get cur extra ways to get currencies. So I'm not doing that right now. But I did send out some players for training points. You see, there are helmets and stuff too. It was also mentioned that there are going to be things like epic and iconic coins added to this very soon. So this is here. It's not very useful at the moment because the currencies are not very good, and the amounts of currency that you get are not very good either. But in the end, it is here, and it will likely get updated throughout the rest of the season. Now, heading on to mentorships, the second part of the practice squad. This is where you'll be able to basically level up and boost your players based on their grouping of positions. So, you have a runner's boost that goes to your halfbacks and fullbacks. Those will be updating your overalls, all that sort of stuff. Now, in comparison to last year, last year it would just be a certain stat that you would basically be boosting. Now you're boosting the overall of entire groups. So this year, obviously, the overalls are a lot more inflated. So I, I, it definitely makes sense that they're going with the overall boost rather than stat boost, because last year, overall boost would have been pretty, pretty insane because of how, how much lower the overalls were and how much more it made sense. But here, practice squad's a little bit different. We're going to go over it. So let's just talk about... Let's go with the uh, defensive backs boost. So this is an example. All of these are going to be filled out right now because I already bought all of them but if it if it actually boosts more players it's going to cost more so the defensive back boost here is going to cost more than say the QB boost the QB boost is only going to boost the quarterback right so it's going to be a lot less expensive you see here I have like 25 slots or whatever and it's going to give me plus 25 overall to the QB if I go to my defensive backs here I have like 11 slots and I only have plus 15 overall but as you guys see, it's going to take a lot of points just to get to the plus 20 overall. And if we go back to the QB, which it takes right here, how much does it take? It takes only 461 to get the plus 30. If we go back to the defensive backs, as you guys see, it's going to take almost that amount just to get plus 20. So if you're boosting more players in a group, it's going to cost more. Now, let's just go over the basics of this. Enough of me talking about that other sort of stuff. but. As you guys see, you're going to have a certain amount of slots that are going to be unlocked. So you have, I have, we're going to have 11 slots available, so I could trade in more players if I wanted to, I believe, unless it's a, yeah. So if I had to disable the boost here, so let's disable the boost real quick. So as we see, I have 11 slots available. 
I can slot in more players, which I'll probably do right here. And then we enable our boost again. So basically what this does is based on the based on the rarity and the rank of your player, the level of your player does not matter. If you have a three star epic that is 150 overall, and you have a three star epic that's 141 overall. So for, so for, for example, the Jalen Ramsey here and the Minka Fitzpatrick, they are different overall, but in the end, they're gonna give you the same progress towards the boost. So if you look at the bottom here at the current boost, it says plus 15 overall, the cornerback and safety. Once you get up to 428, it's gonna give you an extra boost. And when you do this, right, you can equip it by hitting enable boost. So you can enable and disable the boost whenever you want. So you can go ahead and do that. And after that, of course, you can go ahead to your lineup, look at your lineup, see what you want to boost and boost as you go. Now, in order to unlock more slots, you have to spend either matting cash, helmets, trophies, uh, training points, whatever the currency is. It's going to be at the top left here where it says rewards level three. Right now, I would need to pay AFC helmets to go ahead and unlock more slots here. But the more that you spend to unlock more slots, the higher your boost will be. So in the end, this could end up being more of a pay to win thing once it gets to like the matting cash part of it to unlock more slots. But in the end, this isn't the game. It's an ability to get more boost and that's that. To give you an example of what these boosts would look like on a player, here's my John Lynch that's currently on my team. He's a, he's a 470 overall boosted at three stars. So we hit bonuses right here and you guys will see the only boost that he has going on him is the defensive backs boost which is a secondary boost from the practice squad. So currently I have a plus 15 overall boost. So if I were to disable the boost from those players that are on my practice squad right now, then I would not get this plus 15 overall boost because in the end, it's not activated. So you have to activate all your boosts, of course, and you'll see your boost on your players. Once you disable your players in the training, in the practice squad itself, right here, we go back to mentorships, we go to defensive back boost, Right now, when it's enabled, you cannot use these players. They are locked. You can't use your Jair Alexander, your Carl Banks, anyone that's in here. You can't use them. But if I hit disable boost, I can now take them out, do whatever I want with them. And when I plug them back in, of course, I'll still get my progress. So that's how these work, basically. You're going to be using players on your bench. The players of higher, higher rarity, whether that's epic, rare, iconic, the higher their rank, that's going to help as well. It's basically going to give you progress here towards the boost and chances are you probably have a good boost already on your team whether it's from players cross boosting from playoffs from super bowl pro bowl whatever it is you're going to have some boost on your team and all these extra boosts and all these positions it's going to be pretty good so that's about it guys for the practice squad update i'll likely have more videos on this as well talking about some more strategy and once it makes more sense to people as well but currently i have boost on every single position when it comes to the practice squad and that's something I would try to tell you guys to do as well. Even if it's just like a t plus 10 overall boost, it's still something to a position group. You're still going to get an overall boost. And now one thing that I want to go over quickly before the video ends, when I go over to my lineup and sometimes it's not going to do the boost before, it's not going to actually count the boost until I slot a player out and slot it back in. So I believe right now it, it is giving me my players. It is giving me my boost. But if your boosts are not working, what I would do is I would put a player into your lineup and then put that player back in, hit confirm. If it's a, if it, something pops up, hit confirm. And it should show all your boosts on your team overall if something like that glitches out. I know there were some issues with that yesterday and some people had that issue today as well. But that's going to be it for the practice squad, guys. Of course, if you guys need me to clarify anything, talk about anything in the comments, I'll be sure to answer all your questions in the comments. But... That will be it for practice squad guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.